Hey everyone, welcome to Alta Keys. I'm Pankaj Rai and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use navigation component in your Jetpack Compose app. Well, navigation is really an important concept for all the applications because if you have multiple screens, then you need a mechanism to navigate between those. And with navigation compose, it's extremely easy if you are building app using Jetpack Compose. So let's see how we can get started with it. So first switch to Gradle and add the dependency for navigation compose. The current running version is alpha two and I'm using the Jetpack compose version alpha seven. So now let's switch to main activity. So in this main activity, I have the screen navigator composable and this composable is not drawing anything on the screen rather is responsible for the navigation and it's using two most important components of navigation component. One is nav controller, other one is nav host. So what is this nav controller and nav host? So nav control you can think as if the central API for the navigation component, which is stateful and keep track of the backstack of composable, which means that if you are navigating from composable A to B, now if you want to come back from B to A, you need not to do anything because nav controller is maintaining the backstack for you. So what is nav host? So nav host you can think as if it links the nav controller with the navigation graph that is specified the composable destination, which means that inside nav host, you specify all those composable where you want to navigate to. And also you have to provide the route for them. Then using the navcontroller.navigate method, just pass on this route and it will automatically recompose the associated composable. For example, if you say navcontroller.navigate green, then it's going to recompose this composable and also add it to the stack so that you can navigate back if you navigate from this screen to some other composable. Navhost request two parameters. One is nav controller, which you have created before using the remember nav controller and the start destination. Well, the start destination is not something which should be on the top always. It's just the fact like when you launch your app, which composable you want to draw on the screen. That's something which you have to provide with the start destination. So here it means that without calling nav control dot navigate, the system understands that you want to start your composable with this particular route and it will automatically recompose that composable. Here I specify red, which means that as soon as I launch the app, this composable gets drawn on the screen. So this is all good where we have nav controller, we have nav host. Now how do we can navigate? So here for simplicity, what I did is that I created a screen where we have full screen with red, green and blue color. And at the center we have a text. And as they tab, they move from one composable to other composable. So let's see how this can be achieved. So here I have a composable, which you can see it here. Composable is a method which takes the route and the composable which will be drawn on the screen. So here we have screen red and that's the composable inside this composable method. So now when user calls say navcontroller.navigate red, it's going to recompose this composable. Also, this composable is calling another composable which is full screen text with BG. This is nothing but a surface with width and height as match parent you can see because it is fill max size. Also, this is clickable so that user can tap anywhere on the screen and we'll take user to the next screen. Also, we have a text at the center of the screen. So that's a simple UI. And now let's go back to our screen red method. Again, we have one more composable with screen green and screen blue, where the color is blue, green, then text also as green, blue, and then red. So when user tabs anywhere on the surface, as I said, we want to navigate. So this is where we are doing it. Nav controller navigate to specify the route. So 
So now once you do that, it will again go back to the nav host and will try to match with the route specified here with the composable. And as soon as it finds that route, it's going to recompose that composable. So this is a method using infix operator. And if you don't want to use that, then there is a straightforward way, navcontroller.navigate, and you specify the route. So that's it in this video. Now let's see it in action. Okay, so here I have the screen. So the first launch is red in color. That's because the start destination is red. And now, as per our code, when user taps anywhere on the screen, navigate to green. So let me tap anywhere on the screen, and here you could see it has navigated to green color. And from green, it should navigate to blue. So here it is. And from blue, again, back to red color. So now if I tap back button, so it also maintained the back stack for me. So it's blue, then green, then red. And finally, from here, it will exit the app. So that's it in this video. And if you have liked this video, then do not forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to this channel so that you will not miss the upcoming video where I'll talk about how you can pass arguments to the composable. So stay tuned and thank you.